Hi guys, welcome to another video. Just a quick update. Um, I bought a few things for the pond just to make it look a bit more oriental. Um, I was trying to find something that's stone, but as you know, anything that's stone is going to be really expensive. And I went to a local um, retailer. Um, I think it was a BM store that's uh, been recently built near where I live and I picked up a few things and I thought I'd just show you it just adds a bit of aesthetics to the pond but I think it completes the pond a little bit more let me know what you think so obviously the pond's over there let's have a look at the few things that I've added so let me know in the comments what you think I've done differently um, so I'll tell you in a few minutes but I just want to talk about the blade that I ordered for the uh, pond it hasn't quite turned up yet so what I'm thinking is maybe I will put some silicon underneath that spillway stone there just to force the water to go over the stone instead of some of it escaping underneath as you can see so that's something I'm contemplating doing um, and I'll do that at some point but I'm still waiting for a stainless steel, steel spillway to turn up which it hasn't turned up yet uh, I've been quoted six to seven weeks just to make a little bit of metal it's a bit it's a bit long in the tooth that I think anyway so I've been to a local uh, retailer and I picked up these two Pagola um, Chinese stroke Japanese type um, ornaments basically. I've also found these three little ones that I've placed in the filter box. One there, one there and one there. And they look quite nice I think. So if we step back a little bit you know it does add a little bit of an oriental look I know it's only a slight change, a slight difference but it looks quite nice obviously the, here the pergolas um, now because they're made out of fiberglass material they're not that heavy because stone would be a lot heavier so what I decided to do can you see that in there guys is I put some gravel in just to weigh it down because I'm a bit concerned that the wind might knock this into the pond and the last thing I want to be knocked into the pond is something sharp that could potentially damage the liner so hopefully they'll stay in place but if you guys have got any suggestions on how to make them more stable um, let me know in the comments but yeah so obviously We've got the water lilies doing quite well. We've got the floating basket that I've done the video on already. Check that out if you haven't already. And these pergolas. Now I picked them up for about six pound each. Um, the um, candle lantern that I've got there that cost me twenty pound from Morrison's. Obviously, uh, that's from an existing uh, water feature um, bird bath that I had previously. So I just put that duck fountain feature top bit on there. And obviously, I've got the, these um, little pecoras. They, they were only a pound each, so three pounds for three of those, really cheap. And you just basically. Uh, put them in, it's got a bit of a stick and it goes in like that so yeah that's just, just a small little update just wanted to show you how it's looking uh, let me know what you guys think, do you think it adds some aesthetics of a koi type Japanese type pond you know so that's how the pond's looking today. 
So as always, please like the video, subscribe to the channel. I do appreciate you guys coming to my channel and having a look at what I've been doing. Um, yeah. So it's looking quite nice at the moment. Just adding little features, little things can make your pond stand out quite a bit. So again, as always, thanks for watching and have a nice day.